Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry for SiFO molecule. It's a chemical formula for silicon tetrafluoride and to understand its molecular geometry we are first going to look at its lowest structure. So this is the lowest structure of SiFO in which silicon atom is in the center and it is forming four single bonds with four fluorine atoms. Now to understand the molecular geometry better we need to look at its 3D shape and then we use the number then we use the steric number formula or AX notation to find out its molecular geometry. So all these fluorine atoms when they bond with a silicon atom they will try to be as far away from each other as possible to avoid any repulsive forces between bonding pairs of electrons. According to VSCPR theories all these atoms will be arranged uh, at a distance from each other at an equal distance from each other and the arrangement of these atoms will be symmetrical. So if you view this structure in the 3D you can see that it has a structure of tetrahedral but to confirm it further, we are going to use the formula of steric number to find out if we are on the right track. So to find out the steric number, we need to know the electron regions around the central atom. Here there are four electron regions as it is forming bonds with four fluorine atoms and there are no lone pairs. So looking at this table, the molecules that have steric number of four and have zero lone pairs have tetrahedral molecular geometry. Hence the molecular geometry of SiFO molecule is tetrahedral and the bond angles is 109.5 degrees. So uh, the bond angles between these uh, will be 109.5 and hence the molecular geometry of SiF4 is tetrahedral. Apart from that you can also find out the AXN notation for this molecule. The AXN notation would be AX4 because there is no lone pair there the notation will be AX4 and if you check that table out you will get to know that even the molecules that have AX4 notation have tetrahedral molecular geometry. So I hope this video helps you to understand this clearly and for more such videos on lowest structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.